Well, hello, my friends. I hope you're doing great this evening. It's about uh, 11.06 in the p.m. Jesse and I had a terrific day today. I stayed up real late last night. I guess I finished editing those videos and burning them all, the DVDs, uh, for Terry Earl and uh, Catherine Palmer and Tim Palmer. Probably stayed up till about 1.30 last night, something like that, getting that all done. Uh, woke up this morning and we headed over to uh, to the, the mailbox where I was able to mail those things off so I'm glad to get that project out under my belt man and good for that next big thing I got to work on is uh, the DVDs that I'll, I'll burn and edit and burn for the um, the big outreach event we had in Jefferson uh, Georgia which is up near Gainesville uh, this last uh, Saturday, so I'm trying to get that knocked out too this week. Hopefully, I'll be able to work on that some tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, Jesse and I had a good day today. We went over to meet with Officer Fritz, who is a community relations guy with DeKalb County, as well as the uh, manager of Hamptons at Lenox and her main uh, leasing a uh, agent, Lisa and, and, uh, and I mean Laura and Raquel. Uh, I took them out to eat. We had a good visit with them and stuff. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get some uh, the mission ramp back up again with my partners from Salvation Army, uh, Jason Pope. When he moved down south and started working at Capitol View, I was no longer uh, well. I lost my director at that mission, so I've been able to do some some events over there, but I haven't had the ongoing work, which has been a, a real loss. Uh, but uh, I've been working with Kelly Durant, and hopefully, we're going to be able to get some other volunteers from the Salvation Army. And uh, also my partners with Youth Outreach United, hopefully we can get some of those guys to help staff that location. In fact, this morning I had two different managers. One sent me an email, uh, please asking me to come and help them. And then the other one uh, called me. Uh, one of them was in College Park and the other one's in a, in a similar area down there on south on Buford Highway near, near North Druid Hills. Just basically begging me, please can you come help? And I'm like... Well, we'll do the best I can, so I start talking to my partners and see if we can get generate some volunteers. But uh, but please be praying for that. I mean, you know, the only real hindrance to our work is volunteers. I mean, it's not like I don't have enough places to work. I mean, these guys know, hey, we're about Jesus stuff. We can go and knock on every door in the whole place, and they're fine with it. We just got to get people to come and help us. So please pray for that. Uh, it's a real serious feeling of urgency about this we need to have. Uh, so anyway, then Jesse and I also went down and looked underneath this bridge, which is part of the service project that we're going to be doing this weekend, uh, to uh, check out and see what that's going to be like. It's not going to be too bad. It really smells like a lot of some of the worst parts of Africa. You know, it's just taking a dump down there. It's just one big urinal. It's, it's pretty bad. And, and these old mattresses and stuff that they're sleeping on. So bottom line, my team from... Uh, Brockcliffe Baptist Church, one of the service projects they're going to be working on is going to be down in that area. We'll clean all that stuff out and haul off the nasty old mattresses. And Kathy was like, oh, but you're going to take their places where they're sleeping. And I'm like, yeah, but that's what Atlanta Union Mission and the safe house and, you know, places where they can actually stay and be safe. And I have to lay down there and that's just, it's just nasty. I know it's a, it's a tough thing. Uh, I don't think Jesse had ever seen anything like that. You know, I don't think he really completely believe, wow, you know, people living down here? Uh, yeah, so, anyway, uh, after we finished up at Hamptons at Lenox and doing the bridge, we went over to Clay Lewis's, where he'd been working on some computers for us to take to Huntington Terraces, so we got those picked up, uh, Mr. Lewis wasn't feeling very well this week, he just still didn't look very strong, so, uh, anyway, be praying for Clay Lewis, too, he's a big partner of ours, uh, supplied, I don't know how many computers, or actually, I've gone and gotten the computers, and then he gets them fixed up, so, you know, otherwise, there's like a boat anchor, so, uh, pray for Mr. Lewis, too, uh, this evening, and then, uh, we took him over to Huntington Terraces, and, and Jesse helped me unload those, and then we picked up Bill Hickey, who's the director at that mission, and we went over to Walmart and picked up a, uh, a new basketball goal for the kids over there, so he was excited about that. He really does love those children and the families at Huntington Terraces and helps them a lot. And we uh, also picked up some food for Bill, too, because uh, I know he's hungry, and uh, he gives away a lot of the stuff that I get him. He's just like, well, they were hungry, too. And, you know, it's hard for me to say, well, Bill, that food's for you. And I can't tell him that. I mean, I do the same thing. I get food away all the time. What am I going to say? You know, uh, he's, he's following... You know, my example, so I mean, he's anyway, but I want to make sure he's being fed too, you know. 
So, uh, you know, that worked out well. And then uh, Jesse and I went over to the church to pick up the, the mail, i.e. bills, and then uh, went over to Azalea to go and hang out with the kids over there and, uh, you know, love on them for a while. They don't really have any homework going on because it's, uh, you know, CRCT testing for the school. So when there's testing, they don't give homework. And then we came on home. When we got home, uh, Ashley was sick. She was throwing up and had kind of chills and fever, so uh, I felt sorry for my little angel. So pray for Ashley tonight, too, or when you, you know, hear his blog. She she just went home, I don't know, it's about 10 after 11 or so. She went home a little well with, with Kathy to put her to bed and take care of her. Um, I would have been actually uh, probably in bed by now, but I uh, got all my blog written, and then I hit send, and my Internet connection had messed up. I don't know what's going on at the hotel here tonight, uh, but uh, it, kept, it keeps crashing, so... Uh, they have this big sign on the street that says "High Speed Internet." Yeah, right. Anyway, uh, but it's it's better than nothing. It's better than dial up. So, uh, so uh, it's been a good day, a very profitable day. I'll have an early morning tomorrow. We got a meeting about kids' games, which is kind of like a kids Olympics thing. So I'll tell you more about that tomorrow. And then I also have a meeting with some of my favorite partners at the Compassion and Action Weekend that's going on in October. So I'm going to go to that meeting as well and eat lunch with those guys. I'm looking forward to seeing some of my friends. A lot of those, uh, my friends that I work with a lot are the leaders in that. I don't get to see them a whole lot because the, the meeting they mainly go to, which is the Unite meetings, is also the same time when I'm meeting with my partners at uh, Shambly Dorval Property Manager Association where I'm an officer and I'm expected to be there. So, you know, um, sometimes you have to prioritize where your time needs to be. And if any of you all can figure out how I can be at two places at once, uh, please send me that uh, memo because that would be very helpful for me. Anyway, I sure love you. I'll be keep playing, praying for Jesse. He's doing a lot better. Uh, medication seems to be helping him a lot. Uh, he's had a really good attitude in coming to help me. And uh, and uh, it's it's hard what I do driving around all day long and sitting in meetings and talking to people constantly. And uh, he's had a really good attitude, and uh, it's been great to have him with me. Sure love you guys. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.